Hi, I'm Pilski, and this is my top five players for the ESCA Mock Draft Season 38 of Premier here in ANZ. All right, so at number five, starting off here, I have one of the main pieces of the Vertex lineup for quite a while now. It is Ruffleco. He's been a really standout rifler for a long time. He's been consistently putting up a lot of numbers in Oceanic tournaments. Notably, uh, we saw Vertex push the upper echelons of Oceania over in uh, ECA Season 37, where they actually cracked into a top two placement. Uh, despite taking a lovely vacation in 2020, Rofuko has been putting in a really high fragging output in a structured team, which plays some proper Counter-Strike, and they put in a lot of effort in terms of the practice. So he's known for his ability to make plays, uh, multi-frag over on the rifle, as well as provide a lot of entertainment value all around by screaming at the top of his lungs or engaging in mental warfare on Twitter. He's sure to keep the boys' morale high, and he's a key component of the Vertex team that is hard to beat for up-and-coming and established teams alike. All right, so number four for my mock draft is going to be uh, the Orpa for Order. It's going to be Ricky. Uh, Ricky is an absolute veteran of the Oceanic Counter-Strike scene since its inception. Uh, he initially was playing his trade for teams like Trident and Immunity as an aggressive AWPA. Ricky has attended several international events over the last decade, as well as multiple majors with Immunity and Renegades. And he's one of the only Oceanic players who have stickers in the game, uh, as well as playing over for North American teams like CLG and Rogue and Complexity, which no other Oceanic teams have really done very much, or Oceanic players rather, have really done very much. Uh, after he returned home in 2020, he joined up with Order to try to build a top tier roster here in Oceania, actually changing up his role and starting to work as a rifler on the wing and as a lurker. Um, so he's really one of the most well-rounded players and most experienced players that we have here in Oceania, and it's been excellent in 2021 to watch him return to his former role back on the big green and put up strong numbers. All right, number three pick for me in my mock draft is going to be Sterling, uh, playing for looking for Org or X Direwolves or whatever else you want to call them. Sterling is the quintessential turret-style AWPer, uh, hailing from New Zealand, where they seem to have good AWPers coming out of their ears. For international players who have not seen uh, many games from Sterling, I would make comparisons to someone like a device. Uh, he's been a mainstay in the top eight stats pages for every Oceanic event since early to mid-2018, playing on rosters like Chiefs and Legacy. And in more recent times, he's been a regular key part in top three teams in Oceania, providing much needed firepower uh, through hitting high percentage consistent shots, having an incredible ability to multi-frag just by using his good positioning, anticipating how the opponents will peek and space themselves, like for example, a Sight on Dust2 or Catwalk on Dust2, he just has so many highlights. He's not just a one-trick AWPer though, he also has very, very good rifling usage and pistols, and he's able to clutch up when you put him in towards a post-plant, so he's a great asset to any team. So number two of my mock draft is going to be another player for looking for Org or X Direwolves. It's going to be Hazza. Uh, he's a player who piqued my interest in mid-2018, playing on squads like Avant and Breakaway. However, at the time, I felt like he lacked a lot of consistency, which is not too uncommon for a lot of younger players. In the current day, Hazza has played against some of the best the country has to offer for a few years now, as well as being to some international and LAN tournaments, such as his appearance in the Asia Minor over in Berlin in 2019. Haz has made a great transition from a streaky and inconsistent rifler who could go plus 20 or minus 20 in the series depending on the day to a pretty consistent uh, sight anchor and role player with really good communication as seen as his recent Allegesque com videos which I've very much enjoyed watching. Uh, he's got one of the best A4s I've ever seen so I feel bad for him in the A1S meta but it's not holding him back too much. He's great on pistol rounds. He's great with the Deagle, um, and he's been a stable part of this Avant or X Direwolves core that has pushed the Renegades a few times in 2020. He's also learned a lot from some of the players that he's played with, like Apox, so he plays a lot more mature than his age of the Ripold 19 years. The number one player on my mock draft, I'm sure to not too many people's surprise who have followed the Oceanic scene, is going to be Vexite from Order. Uh, we didn't really get to see his full potential in his first official team over in the Chiefs because he couldn't play in too many tournaments, being a little bit too young to participate when he was 15 or 16 or whatever it was. Uh, he's been pretty excellent since stepping into order at the start of this year, though. 
Uh, Vexai is an extremely well-rounded rifler. His mechanics are top-notch, seen by his ability to multi-frag and find entries with ease. He's, this is also balanced nicely by his keen game sense, which is shown by his ability to clutch, as well as understanding where to find space and anticipate the other team's rotations. He's only 17 years old, and he's already one of ANZ's best players and has learnt from some of the most experienced players ANZ has to offer in the form of Usillo and Ricky. So no doubt this guy has a bright future ahead of him, and he's definitely one to keep an eye on heading into Season 38's ANZ playoffs first and foremost but also in towards the future LAN tournaments, looking forward uh, over towards the international waters. So that was my top five ECA season 38 of ANZ mock draft. Make sure that you keep an eye on all of the playoff games coming up in EU and NA, but also in Oceania, where you'll see a lot of these players playing.